good. I've arrived at Gen Con. Ta-da! Day two. It's going on pretty good. I'm walking down Artist Alley right now. Gen Con caters not only to gamers, but nerds in general. Lots of nerd art, lots of uh, really well-known artists. There's even comic artists here. Basically making a scene of myself with this camera. It's fantastic. You should just, ugh. If you see a crazy person with peach stripe in their hair, you know it's me. Great games, demoing everywhere. I mean, just, ugh. <laughs> I need like six weeks. I need six weeks to finish this. It's ridiculous. I, I told myself I would stop buying games and that was a mistake to coming to the demo hall and then demoing games. Because whenever I demo a game, I want to buy it. And there's some really awesome games here. So it's $50 for the base game, $25 for the expansion. Eric, if you're watching this, I can't pay rent this month. The problem is, is whenever I demo one, then I want to buy it. Do you mean games I've bought? <laughs> We're here at our third Gen Con and here to keep telling our story about these amazing cards on dice. The most overdue game invention of all time, which is somebody put the cards on the dice. Uh, and that somebody is here with us today, Carmelyn Calvert. Hi, my name is Carmelyn Calvert and I'm the inventor of Square Shooters. I mean, my daddy taught me how to play poker when I was five years old, so when I think of cards, I think of me. I came up with the idea about, I don't know, it was 11, 12 o'clock at night, sitting on my couch, and I thought, well, you can put a deck of cards on nine dice with the Jokers. Six times nine is 54. Could you do it and make them able to function all 40 different straight flush? all your four of a kind and then being able to use all the cards in combination to make all of the basic full houses. So I sat down at the table with a pen and paper and I went through all the cards and arranged them so that you could do that and it surprised me actually. And like I said, by then it's three o'clock in the morning and I'm like so excited because you can do that. And I live on a farm and out in the barn is our cross cut saw so and it's nighttime and I go out in the barn and I drag this saw into my kitchen on the dining room table and I'm cutting little blocks of wood because you, I had to do it. I had to see what would actually happen when you roll the dice. So it's five o'clock in the morning by then and there's sawdust all over my kitchen and I'm tired. <laughs> so I go to bed and leave the mess and the next morning my husband comes in and he shakes me and he's like, were you, did you, were you cutting wood in the kitchen last night? And I said, well, I'll tell you when you get home. So I spent the next week actually gluing cards onto the, all the little, painted them white, and, and they were horrible looking, but they were functional, and gave the dice to my friends to play, and they loved it. They actually rolled the paint right off my dice, so here we are actually 15 years later. So on your turn, you turn over a game card and it assigns a poker task. And you have three rolls of the dice to match that hand. You can get the type of hand and win some chips, or you can press your luck and try to get the exact match and you can double your score. So there's a lot of hedging and some thinking and tactics that can go into this, but you just roll once and look at that. I've got three jacks on my first roll but only one of them happens to be a direct match. There's so many small games and so many awesome cosplayers. I've got video of just a tiny, tiny amount of them. There's so many 10th Doctors here, I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a paradox happening. This obviously isn't a fixed point in time yet, but it's gonna be. My goodness, look at all these. He's Cameron. Company name. We don't even have a website. I'm still making that. The best part about conventions is when you're exhausted, you just find some people and you sit next to them on the floor, and then they become your friends. <laughs> like Stein. Like Stein. Hi, I don't have the screw on. You just ruined the magic of this. Oh, I'm so I have sorry. to go edit my other video and cut you out now. No. This is just... Isn't it already online? I can take it down. <laughs>